and welcome back to Hella V. I am once again your host Joe, and we're doing more of the uh, underground below the church. My guys get to learn more things. I mean, we did a fight, so that makes sense. He's officially mastered monk. He doesn't need anything else. Honestly, he doesn't even really need chemist. He only has item because uh, sometimes he can't get on the same level as another guy. I wonder if I should make her into a time mage just so she can start learning other things. Yeah, sure. Let's do the Time Mage again. Now I gotta fiddle with her equipment, of course. Do I gotta use the healing staff? Can I not equip my uh, rod? No, I can't. Restores hit points of whoever it strikes. Great. Thank you. Uh... not at all what I wanted. I like being able to come up and just clubbing guys to death right at the last second. Like, you know, oh, he's severely injured. What are we gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Thwack. Oh, yeah, I was saving up for that. Alright, here we go. She looks different, you can see her face now. Apparently she's blonde. That's important. I was gonna say everybody's blonde, but uh, they're not actually. Delita's brunette. I'm pretty sure my monk is too. I didn't expect you to find us here, but just in time. Heretic Rusty, hand us the stone. No, why don't you give me yours? Do as I say, and I'll let you live. Rusty's finally realizing he's managed to kill so many people. He's actually a credible threat. You think you can beat us? Then I'll take it by force. Mission for winning, defeat is Lude. Just him. Nightblade. Sounds like an 80s TV show. Uh, okay. Battle skill. Oh, that's just... That is just night moves. Working on a night moves Trying to make some front page driving news Eighty-four? I'll take it. I'll try that. Wow. Never give me the odds. I don't even need to move. They set themselves up for me. A hundred! Dear God. Oh shit. A reminder, when changing classes, to make 
make sure that you equip other abilities. I have effectively made her useless in this fight. Which is definitely not good. Oops. Crap. No, oh, jeez. That guy's after my fruity pebbles. Oh, right. He's got the ice shield on. Why do you go against us, Rusty? Though you're a Beowulf, you don't obey your brothers. Why? It's because I'm a Beowulf that I don't obey them. The name shouldn't be used for self-gain, but rather for divine justice. During the war, my father fought and died to save the people from invasion. Beowulfs must not fight for a defunct royal family, but only for noble rights. Now then, let's fight together. Our goals are the same. Listen well, Rusty. The Glabados want a world where all people are equal. Saint Ajour's ideal world, in God's world. You know people don't trust the royal family or nobility. We must do something before ever this is ruined. But you started this war, is that the will of God? Eh, you gotta break a few eggs. Certain sacrifices must be made for the revolution. Decadent, royal, decadent royalty and nobles must pay for the people. Now cooperate with us, as Delita did. Well, tip for tat. Damn! I refuse to acknowledge his power. I can't die. I must bring the stone back. Rusty, the next time I see you will be our last. Remember. I guess I won? Wait! His loot! Rusty, nobody ever told you his name. 13,000 gil. Do you want to save? Yeah. I also will call it there for the day. Uh, this is a fight. These multi-fight dungeons are... The fights are short, but... Uh, they're making for short episodes, whatever. Whatever. Thank you for tuning in. I've once again been your host, Joe, and see you next time. Listen well, Rusty. The Glabados want a world where all people are equal.